Now let's suppose we want to obtain uh, the marks of English uh, of uh, a student. Let's uh, let's assume that we want to uh, check the marks uh, of Phil. So we'll type Phil over here and Microsoft Excel will put his English marks in the cell J6. So this is what I'm going to teach you today. Now we'll uh, check the marks of Bruce and we'll type Bruce over here and in the next cell his English marks will be displayed. Uh, so Bruce secured two marks in English. So that is what our video today's video is all about. So I welcome you in Explorenza and today we'll explore exactly that. Before uh, moving further, uh, I'm applying a trick over here, a simple tip uh, that will save a bit of time for me and uh, that will do a lot of good for me. So what I'm going to do is, this is the whole table where, uh, uh, the, where the data is located. Now what I'm going to do is, I'll name this table. Now for na uh, to name this table, we have to uh, select the whole range and then we'll uh, left click sorry uh, right click and name a range click on name a range now we'll insert a name over here let's suppose i am inserting its name i want to name it name this whole range this whole particular piece of data as uh, student score score let's name this one as student score okay the name that you enter is not valid because it is uh, it can't have space in it so let's just name it as score scores okay we have name it as scores now what we are going to do is uh, let's format it as well we are Clear data, clear contents. Okay. Now what we are going to do is uh, we are uh, we want to obtain now we want to obtain the marks of any student that whose name is displayed in the cell I uh, six in this uh, his English marks in J six his physics marks in K six his uh, chemistry marks in L six and his uh, biology marks in M six. Now, first of all, his English marks. We'll apply the formula for his English marks. We'll type is equal to. We'll type V. Look up. There are certain other ways to uh, insert a formula, but uh, the easiest way is to type the formula yourself. Uh, we look up, and then bracket. These are the arguments. We look up value, uh, table array, column index number, and range lookup. Excel is telling me that arguments this formula contains so uh, we have to uh, insert the formula according uh, according to its arguments now we look up the first argument that we are going to uh, put over here is look up value what value we want to look up look up now if you want to look up a certain thing or from a data for example I want to look up for the name uh, for the name of the student Simon so I will type it Simon over here but let's suppose you want to look up for a, a value uh, that is placed in some cell. Let's suppose it is placed in cell I6. So I want to, um, I'll uh, just in a type I6 over here or click I6 cell. It will uh, automatically be typed. I have clicked over here and it is automatically, automatically got typed on uh, over here. Now insert column and then uh, table array table array is the range so the table array over here will be the name of the uh, this range um, I can also say it as b3 to f13 it is that uh, array but we, uh, for our easiness I have re uh, I've, I had already pre uh, previously renamed it as scores so I will just type scores over here and it will insert comma and it has automatically uh, picked up this whole range now column index number column index number is actually the column of our data that we are going to look at now the our table was from b3 uh, to f13 now from b3 to f13 and 
to look at its English results from B3 uh, to F13, the first column is this one. The second column if is this one, the third, uh, this one, the uh, fourth and the fifth one. Now I want to look at the English scores of the students. So uh, we'll insert two over here because that is the second column of that table that contains scored in the subject of English. So uh, we'll type two over here and then we'll type comma again and then uh, it's range lookup. Range lookup is the value um, we will insert true over here if we want to uh, if we want Excel to type uh, to look at any approximate match or we want and uh, we want the exact match. So we want exact match. So that's why we will type false over here. False and bracket. I will close the brackets and our VLOOKUP will perform its action and it has inserted the marks of Bruce that he has secured in English. Now uh, let's uh, assume that we want to uh, find its um, uh, the marks of Bruce uh, in physics. Now what we are going to do is we'll type the same data VLOOKUP is equal to VLOOKUP lookup value is in is i6 because that is the value that we are going to look at from the table array that is uh, scores or we can let's suppose this time i type from b3 to f13 i oh, know i closed it sorry now the next thing column index number column index number is this time for physics it is 3 because uh, the first column of a data has names the second column has his english uh, is the english sco score and the third column has the physics score so we are going to look at its physics number so that is why we will insert three over here then look up value we want exact match so that is why we'll type false over here okay we'll close the brackets and the excel vlookup formula will uh, in, uh, will uh, come up with the marks of physics of this student. Now we'll do the same for what chemistry is equal to we look up nothing will change except the argument all arguments will be the same no, nothing will change except column index number that will change we look up value is in i6 the table array is scores uh, the column index number is this time it is uh, one two three four and the uh, false the range lookup is false we let press enter and chemistry marks now biology marks uh, for biology that's uh, the same thing except the uh, uh, the range we look up insert brackets we look up value is in i6 we'll insert the table array that is scores we'll insert the column index number that is for biology it is column number five or for data it, actually you don't have to confuse this column number with the uh, column number of excel a b c d this is the first column second third fourth fifth sixth but it, this is the these are the columns of our excel sheet but for vlookup we will have to place uh, uh, for, for this argument column index number is the column number of our data it is not the column number of the spreadsheet that you have to fill out here over here so keep this thing in mind don't confuse it with the uh, column number of excel spreadsheet and false in the next argument enter and biology now this is another cool thing over here is that we will just change the name of the student in this cell i6 and automatically all the marks the formula the, uh, with the help of the formula that we have applied in all these cells ahead of this i6 and j k l m and l, uh, l and m6 they will uh, automatically be get changed because of our formula uh, so let's change the name of bruce to simon 
and see all his marks have got changed Simon has secured 9, 2, 7 and 8 marks uh, let's check for Moore and it has got changed that's a cool thing you don't have to uh, actually uh, check the marks every time of every student uh, you have just apply the formula and then it uh, it uh, it applies it it gets it applied automatically so that was for today uh, we have learned how to do VLOOKUP in Microsoft Excel I uh, hope you have liked the video and if you did do give it a thumbs up and if you have learned anything from it do share it as well because uh, that's what they say sharing is caring and what more do subscribe to our channel and till uh, the next video goodbye